What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to your turtle setups yet again. So really, really excited to hop straight into these. But of course, before we get started, just a quick reminder that this is all my personal opinions all my own thoughts and you as the viewer and the turtle keeper if you sent in these tanks anything I say it's up to your discretion if you want to implement anything I say just take it all with a grain of salt do your own research make your own decisions this is just my reaction and my thoughts so with that make sure the subscribe button and ring the notification bell down below so you can see all of my future videos I make turtle videos pet videos and fun stuff like this every single Friday and you don't want to miss out also don't forget to check out my patreon page you can join there for as little as the price of a coffee per month it really helps support the channel and help me create the content that I am making Plus, there's all kinds of cool perks, such as early videos, and as time goes out, I'll be rolling out some more perks for my patrons. Okay, so with all that being said, let's hop straight in and take a look at some of these tanks. Alright, so first up here, we have a 40-gallon tank from Camille in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a 40-gallon breeder with two turtles, an African side neck and a red eared slider. Just looking at the enclosure itself, you do have all the basics covered. I would say that your turtles are pretty large. So I think having more space would definitely be beneficial for them, especially given that there are two turtles in here and it is only a 40 gallon tank. If it is possible to get a larger tank, I would definitely suggest that. I don't know too much about side necks, but I do know that red eared sliders are pretty good swimmers. So if increasing that water volume is an option, that's definitely another great way to maximize the space. You already mentioned that the basking area, you know it's a bit small and are planning on upgrading. So I'm really happy to hear that. Looks like you've got your basics covered for lighting as far as heat and UVB. I like that you have the decorations and the rock there on the bottom does look big enough so they can't eat it, so good job there. Overall, I would just say give them more space, give them more water volume to swim in, and they will love you for it. So thanks for sending this in, Camille. Next up is Tyler from California with their Southern Painted Turtle Taco, love the name, in a 40 gallon. And there's a heater, basking area with UVB, an internal filter, a canister filter, and a bubbler and it also looks like you have some gouramis in here so first of all congratulations on keeping fish with turtles as i've mentioned in previous videos i have yet to really find a species that has been able to survive long term other than the convict cichlid so that's amazing that you're able to keep different fish in there the basking area looks awesome you've got a good amount of decorations i love the little area 51 sign in there that is Fantastic. River Rock looks great. The water quality seems to be doing great as well. I love that you are using two filters. One thing I would watch out for is that with those plastic plants, I know personally, like sometimes if you buy cheaper kinds, little pieces can fall off of that plastic, which the turtle could eat. So if these are good quality plants and that hasn't happened, then no worries. But I would just make sure that your turtle wouldn't be able to eat any pieces of those plastic plants. But overall, I think the setup looks great and Taco is super cute. Love the Garamis. Great job, Tyler. Also gotta say, I love the drawings behind there. I don't know who did those drawings behind the tank, but those are adorable. I love that. All right, next up is a hatchling turtle tank from Bella in Virginia. This is a 30 gallon with a southern painted as well as some fish. And immediately looking at it, I can see that your turtle is pretty small up there on the basking area with all those basking lights and all that stuff. So that is great. Your turtle definitely seems to be having a lot of space. I love the look of the tank. I love the light colors. A couple things I would keep an eye out for, as I've mentioned in previous videos like this, you could have more decorations kind of filling up that center space of the tank. Especially with baby turtles, you want to give them something to hold onto so that they can easily get to the surface and kind of rest in that middle area of the tank. Love the tiger barbs you have in there. Looks like you might also have Daniels or some other type of fish, but I definitely know that the other ones are tiger barbs. Also the same thing I said about the last tank, keep an eye out on those plastic plants in case that they are more flimsy. But overall, your turtle is super duper cute. I am a huge sucker for baby turtles. They're just so adorable when they're this big. So thanks so much for sending in your tank, Bella. All right, here we have a 20 gallon tall tank from a longtime viewer in Minnesota. Hello, Michaela. Thank you for sending in your tank. So this is home to a juvenile mud turtle which I think we can see in the tank here in the back right corner. You can see she has her filter, her basking area, as well as the lighting above the tank. Appears that the turtle's name is Tiny. 
love the nameplate that's super cute i also am a big fan of the black substrate i think it contrasts really well in a tank you did mention that though it is gravel the turtle is unable to eat it so my thing is just basically you don't want to have that risk of impaction so if the turtle's mouth is still too small that it can't eat the gravel then that's fine but as the turtle gets bigger that's going to be something you want to keep an eye out for you do have a nice little log decoration in there that's really great again make sure the turtle can't get stuck there and you could also have some more decorations there in the middle i would imagine that eventually you would have to upgrade this setup from what it looks like there's only about 10 gallons of water in there right now love the pop of color that you get with the different decorations that you have in the tank so thanks so much for sending in your tank michaela i hope you and tiny are doing well next up is a tank from sunny in iowa so this is a 40 gallon breeder with a red-eared slider. They've got a DIY turtle topper as well as two filters, a heater, their heat lamp and basking lights, and some fishy friends inside the tank. So first thing that really intrigued me about your setup was your above tank basking area. I think it's really creatively done, but it looks like you're using that so that you can rest the plastic part above the tank and then you've got some kind of wiring around so that it's escape proof for your turtle. So that's definitely being creative and using solutions. I would be a little bit wary about balancing tanks on top of each other like that but if it's worked fine and you haven't had any issues that's just something that would personally cause me a little bit of anxiety because it's just you know sitting on there the incline though does look pretty steep so i would just make sure that when you do have evaporation in the tank you fill up that tank so that your turtle can easily get up into the basking area as i've mentioned with some of the other tanks you could use more decorations kind of filling up that space in the middle though you do have some plastic plants in there as well as that kind of one little rock formation. Also notice that you have opted to go bare bottom here, which is great if you are looking for an easy to clean, low maintenance kind of substrate or lack thereof because there is no substrate but that's really cool so thank you so much for sending in this tank so here's a 55 gallon african side neck tank from ashton in california immediately looking at this setup there's a couple things i'd like to point out here first is the mix of sand and gravel as i've mentioned before sand is fine and gravel can be fine as long as the turtle can't eat it, but your turtle seems pretty large, so I'd be a little bit concerned about your turtle eating that. The basking area looks like it'll definitely work as long as the turtle's able to get up there and as long as it is sturdy and the turtle can't knock it over. You could use more decorations in the middle to kind of fill in that space. It looks like the filter is kind of tucked back in that corner. I would caution against that because it might limit the effectiveness, it can make it hard for it to do its job properly. It really should be in an area where the water can circulate, and then I know Notice that you also have goldfish in the tank. If they're just there as tank mates and he's unable to catch and eat them, that's fine. But if he is able to catch and eat them, that can pose a problem because goldfish and members of the minnow family in particular have thiaminase in them, which can actually cause problems for your turtle. So if the turtle is able to catch and eat those, I wouldn't be keeping goldfish with them. I do see though that you have your two basking lights above the basking area, which is great. Glad you have your lighting. Also, I noticed that the sign in the back says, Dear Ashton, happy birthday. So if it's your birthday, or if it was your birthday, happy belated birthday. Next up is a lovely little Reeves turtle setup from Silvio in Portugal. So they said that there's about 60 liters of water in here, so it's about 15 gallons, but the tank itself is probably like around a 40 gallon. It's just 15 gallons of water that are actually in there. So this is Tito the Reeves turtle. It's outfitted with an Eheim canister filter, a heater, the heat and UVB bulbs, and some live plants. So you have some Anubias as well as some sweet potatoes. So I think it's really cool that you've got live plants in here. This is an absolutely beautiful little setup. Reeves turtles do tend to stay pretty small. So if the floor space of this is about the size that I'm thinking, so like a 40 gallon, this is probably sufficient size. I love the green. I love the color. The river rock adds some dimension to the bottom, but definitely look big enough that the turtle can't Eat it so great job there this basking area is super duper intriguing to me uh it looks like there's some kind of stand reaching up so that the lights can hold it i'm not sure how that was accomplished 
but it looks really, really cool. Love the live plants, love the driftwood kind of reaching up into the basking area. That looks awesome. The only thing I really have to say is just make sure that your turtle won't get stuck in that little cave on the left. I don't actually see the turtle in this picture, so I can't really gauge how big they are, but this is just a beautiful tank. So great job. Thank you so much for sharing. Here we have a 55 gallon from Elias in Washington state. There are three female turtles in this tank, a red eared slider, a Western painted, and a peninsula cooter as well as some cichlids so you've got the nice sand substrate you've got your filter in the back as well as your basking lights and a diy egg crate that egg crate basking area looks super nice okay so apparently my memory card got full and i just talked about three other tanks that didn't get recorded so we're gonna go back um in case you noticed any change in the setup that was why so where were we all right, so to pick up where we left off, we were looking at Elias from Washington's tank. So this tank has three female turtles. You've got your filtering there, your basking area, which is awesome. You've done a great job with the egg crate, as well as your basking lights, all that good stuff. So a couple of things I wanted to point out. First thing, most of you can probably guess what I'm gonna say is you could just have more decorations. Fill in that center space, give your turtles more things to break up their line of sight, establish territory, be enriched by, etc., etc., etc. Uh, but speaking of breaking up sight lines and territory, I did want to bring up that even if these turtles are juveniles right now, females of those species don't really stay small. So with this being a 55 gallon tank and stocked with even other fish, I don't see this being like a long term, like for the rest of their lives kind of setup. I would definitely encourage you to think about upgrading as these turtles get bigger if they aren't already full grown. Although it is good to see that the tank is filled all the way up so that you are maximizing that space that you have in there. But overall, you do have a great setup to start out with, especially if these turtles are still just juveniles. I did want to mention, you did say that you have a circulation pump in there, which is something I wanted to point out to everyone else watching particularly if you have a larger tank and are just running one filter it's really helpful to have one of these circulation pumps i'll link one in the description below and these are awesome because in a big tank you want that water to move around and be circulating sometimes if you just have like a filter in one corner of the tank all that water from that side is getting pushed through the filter but not so much on the other side so having one of these is really really helpful it helps move the debris off of the bottom of the substrate and can keep your tank looking cleaner actually at least that's what i've noticed in my experience so that is great that you have one of those in there all right here we have a nice little rack setup sent in from amelia from baltimore baltimore sorry baltimore maryland and this is a 29 gallon and a 40 gallon and she has a total of three turtles just a couple things i want to mention first you guys can guess decorations for sure because these tanks do look pretty sparse and i think your turtles would really benefit from that also i do see that you have your basking lights and everything covered in fact you actually have two basking areas on that 40 gallon that's great that you're providing that looks like you've got filters in both tanks as well so that's great and you said you made that basking area in that lower tank using the tutorial that i made so i'm really glad that could help you out other than decorations there were a couple other things i wanted to mention first is that in that bottom tank i noticed you do have that one filter in the corner but then you have the egg crate kind of dividing it i think it might be a good idea to use one of those power heads that we actually saw in that previous tank to kind of help circulate that water flow because although the egg crate has holes that can definitely prohibit some circulation adding a water circulation pump will definitely help out with that in that 40 gallon on the bottom other thing i wanted to say for those of you who are thinking about using a rack system like this definitely make sure that that rack is rated to hold the weight of your tanks because water is heavy and fish tanks are heavy i think most people say account for 10 to 12 pounds per gallon of tank that you end up using so for instance this 40 gallon tank i count for at least 400 or 500 pounds of weight sitting on this stand and that's because water itself is already eight pounds a gallon plus you know you add on the actual weight of the tank itself gravel decorations all that stuff and then also you want to make sure that that tank will be able to be fully supported all the way around by whatever stand you're putting it on. As you can see here on mine, I actually had to cut a piece of plywood so that that weight could be evenly distributed. So that's just something to think about if there are those of you watching thinking about doing a setup like this that kind of has multiple tanks stacked on top of each other. Okie dokie, here we have a really, really cool setup from Vivi in Finland. 
Hello, Finland. That's really awesome that we've got viewers all the way over there. Uh, this is a 400 liter tank, which I believe is about 100 gallons with a red eared slider. First thing that really struck me about this was your basking area. You actually included a little short video of this basking area. It looks like you used it's like probably some kind of wood as well as plexiglass kind of screwed together, but it's just done really, really well. That ramp looks fantastic. And it looks like you put it together with a lot of thought and I'm glad that it's escape proof so your turtle can't go anywhere. Tank itself, 100 gallons, looks to be about proportionate to the turtle that you have in there. But you already know what I'm gonna say. You could use more decorations. You do have the pot in there, which is great. But again, having something in there for them to stimulate their senses and explore is really a big deal and helps just stimulate your turtle's brain, basically. So that is what I would suggest. Also, love that turtle pillow on your couch. That is super duper cute. So thank you so much for sending this in and much love to Finland. All right, here is a tank from Sharn, Sean, Sharn in England, sorry. The name is S-I-A-N and you told me to pronounce it Sharn but I feel like if I were to pronounce that with an English accent, it would be like Sean. So I'm just going with that. Apologies if I still botched it, even though you told me how to pronounce it. That is a normal occurrence within these React videos. So you didn't actually say the size of this tank. I would assume it's probably a 55 gallon, maybe even a 75, based on the size of the turtle. You mentioned that you are planning on upgrading his floating basking dock to an above tank basking area to give him more space to bask, which I think is great. That'll also enable you to fill the tank all the way up so you're maximizing the water volume. You do have all, all of your lights as well as a filter, which is great. You said that the tank tank is really plain because the turtle is mean and snaps slash breaks slash bites everything you put in there. Understandable. I know some turtles can just be destructive, although I would suggest maybe just trying some hardscape, so rocks and wood, stuff that they wouldn't be able to actually eat, but would still add something in the tank for them to push around and move around. So that would be my suggestion. And you also said that you save your turtles shed scoots. You are not the only one. That is not weird. I do that too, so... I don't know, welcome to the cool turtle owners club where we save our turtles shed scoots. So that's really cool, but thank you for sending this in, Sean. All right, so here is a tank from Calvin in Indonesia. This is a 20 gallon with two turtles, an Eastern painted and a red eared slider. Both seem to be maybe like juveniles. They're not full size yet. You've got your above tank basking area as well as a heat light and a filter there kind of on the side. So a couple things I wanted to mention, of course, decorations. Like honestly, I feel bad that I have to say it with like every tank, but I think like even if you do have all the basics so that your turtle can survive, really thriving is like making that setup as naturalistic as possible. So would definitely love to see some rocks, wood, fake plants, anything of the sort in the tank. It looks to me like the basking lights are pretty close in distance to the actual area where the turtles are basking. So I would just check the temperatures and make sure that those are okay because sometimes when that distance is too close, it gets really, really hot. And by moving it further away, it's not as concentrated. You told me in your email that it looked like your turtle had some mineral deposits on its shell. That is totally fine. However, you did mention that you used a toothbrush as well as toothpaste. You can brush their shell with a toothbrush, but I wouldn't use toothpaste because toothpaste has all kinds of chemicals and you don't really need to put it on your turtle shell. You can just use only the toothbrush. So those are my thoughts on this tank. As your turtles get bigger, you will likely have to upgrade this. So just keep that in mind. Thanks so much for sharing, Calvin. All right, here's a 40 gallon map turtle tank from Julie in Pennsylvania. Mississippi map actually came from apparently Julie's cousin who didn't know how to care for it properly. So I'm really glad that you were able to give this turtle a better quality of life. That's super duper awesome. Love the tank. You've done a great job with it. Love the river rock, great pop of color with the plants, and that above tank basking area was also done really, really well. You've got your lights and your filter. It looks like you even have some pothos coming out of the filter, so that's really awesome. Really, the only thing I would suggest is, again, more decorations. All right, this is a 10 gallon hatchling red eared slider tank from Ava in Texas. So this is a very simple hatchling setup. I do like that you have the water filled so that the turtle has plenty of space to swim around. You do have your basking area as well as your basking lights and your filter. The couple things that I would mention here is for one, decorations. Give the baby turtle something to hold on to, especially when they're younger, they're not as strong swimmers. So having stuff to climb to the surface is really helpful. Also, if you don't have a heater in this tank, I would definitely recommend one because hatchlings generally like it warmer and it can help their immune system even. So there is that. All right, so here is a super fun tank from Suit in New Jersey. And oh my gosh, first off, 
I am a sucker for baby turtles. Even more so, baby diamondback terrapins. So this is your hatchling diamondback terrapin tank for your two diamondback terrapins, Shelby and Raisin. I love the names. Raisin is just uh, such a good name. So this is a 55 gallon tank. You've got some live plants and driftwood in here as well as your above tank basking area. This tank looks really, really great. That basking area looks like it has plenty of space for them to, you know, thermoregulate and they're just so, ugh. These turtles are so, so cute. Looks like you've done a DIY stand, which is super duper awesome that you built your own. You've got your canister filter there on the bottom. And this is just a wonderful, wonderful setup. They'll be able to grow into this as they get larger. And the plants and wood just really, really, really look nice in here. Only thing I'm gonna say is kind of just filling in that middle space with decorations especially again since they're small but this is a beautifully done tank love that you even have some fish in the tank so thank you so much for sharing all right so here is the last tank of this video this is a 65 gallon from lexi with darwin the red eared slider so i see you've got your filter in there as well as your basking lights a couple things i want to mention love the variation of the rocks in here it's cool that you have that different texture again could have more decorations, but you do have some of that space filled in. The basking area looks like it might be a little small. I would be worried about the turtle sinking it, so that's something to think about. And then along with that, you could probably fill the water level more, so you're maximizing the water volume and amount of space that your turtle can swim around. You did mention you have goldfish in the tank, so same thing as I mentioned with one of the earlier tanks. Goldfish can have thiaminase. Just know that that could potentially be detrimental to the health of the turtle. So those are my thoughts, Lexi. Thanks for sending in your tank. So that is all the tanks that I have to react today. To all of you who submitted, thank you so much. Uh, I hope I wasn't too harsh on any of you. Again, take it all with a grain of salt. Uh, if you watch this far, thank you so much for watching. These videos tend to be a little bit longer, so if you watch this far, please comment the octopus emoji. I just picked that arbitrarily. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. And if you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.